Hey YouTube, so here's a quick little update. As you may have uh, already seen, I did sell my STI and uh, hurt like hell, I gotta admit. But onto better and bigger things. So uh, I wanna show you guys exactly what I got. Uh, I hope some of you are not disappointed. It is a Kia Rio, uh, but I'm sure it'll make up its, uh, its worth in, in miles per gallon. Luckily though, that's not the truth. The truth is, this is what I got. That is a brand new 2014 WRX. Now some of you are wondering, well why didn't you just get the 2015? It's newer, it's got a six speed. Well I didn't want that. What I wanted was a hatchback. And 2014 is of course going to be the last year that uh, Subaru is making a WRX hatchback or even any turbocharged hatchback. It's a great shame. I know they have the Lavorg there in in Europe, but it's not coming here, which really sucks. But at the very least, I got my 2014 hatchback. Uh, that's primarily what I wanted. I really needed the extra space, and um, yeah, I'm I'm loving this so far. Uh, the only gripe that I have is, of course, the braking period. It's about a thousand miles uh, before braking is over so right now it's it's definitely a very slow car <laughs> uh, definitely compared to my STI just because I can't drive it as hard uh, so as soon as I have the braking period over you're definitely gonna see a lot more power videos but uh, for now let me kind of show you real quick exactly what this car features um, it's not a limited or anything like that it really didn't need a sunroof or leather but it does come with a couple of different features. Uh, number one is this very cool plasma blue pearl paint. I actually got the last plasma blue pearl um, paint in any hatchback uh, for 2014 in Southern California. I believe all they had left was silver, which I definitely didn't want, especially after spending so much time with, uh, with Roxy where it was uh, silver. Uh, so I'm very happy to get something kind of uh, eccentric, I guess you could say, uh, very unique um, in the sunlight. As you can see here while I'm kind of walking around, it definitely looks purple. Many people have nicknamed it Burple for blue-purple. Uh, during dusk, it starts to get a lot more blue, and then at night, it pretty much looks black, which is very, very cool to have three different colors basically on the car. Uh, now I did get a couple of extra things thrown in over at uh, Renix Subaru. If you're in the area and you're looking for a Subaru, go to them, hit up my buddy Ivan. He's awesome. He got me an excellent, excellent deal and I'm sure he can help you out as well. Uh, but I did get the exhaust finisher, finishers which some people absolutely love. I'm one of those people. Uh, it just really puts the car together. Um, most of the time you'll just find these with just that black trim all the way across um, but these really kind of set off the, the whole tone of the car uh, it also comes with the STI short, go short throw um, uh, shifter and also the the STI uh, knob there let me show you a little bit of that I'm also viewing this on my new slider system which hopefully the footage looks pretty cool also in the interior you get the the red interior lighting um, which lights up the the foot wells there for the passenger and the driver and other than that that's pretty much it um, believe it or not I actually have lower monthly payments than I did with my STI which is another uh, reason why I went with the WRX uh, and on top of that this of course is about eight years newer than my old car uh, and of course warranty that lovely lovely warranty which uh, I'm probably not going to be able to stay within the lines of that warranty as soon as I get uh, past the thousand mile mark once I know this car is properly broken in 
uh, I already have an access port to a flash of stage one which from what I've been reading is a fantastic thing to use right off the bat and from what I hear uh, the stock tune on these WRX's runs a little lean not sure why um, uh, why Subaru decided to do that. Maybe they had some kind of emission restrictions. I'm not sure, but it definitely runs kind of poorly right now. Uh, once I flash uh, stage one, I've been hearing things like a lot more power it's day and night in terms of performance. And some people also report uh, extra mileage, which definitely helps out as well. Um, right off the bat, right out of the box, I'm already getting about six to almost 10 miles per gallon more compared to my STI. So this car is kind of pretty much pay for itself really in the long run so yep that's just about it um, uh, super bros uh, definitely share like subscribe do all that good stuff I do have some very cool stuff coming up uh, I have a couple of ideas floating around for episodes um, I might look into possibly uh, teaching some some friends and uh, family members that are uh, let's say pretty <laughs> uh, people uh, and teach them how to drive stick. I know my wife right now really wants a Subaru. Uh, she definitely wants a WRX which uh, she loves these bodies and they only come in stick so she's got to learn if she wants one. Uh, so I will probably put up a couple of episodes there of teaching her how to drive stick as well as some of her friends and I'm sure uh, there will be some shenanigans along the way. Either way please like, subscribe, share, do whatever you want to do. Tattoo it on your body. I don't care. Just get the word out there. I uh, definitely appreciate you guys' support. Thank you so much, and uh, we'll see you guys real, real soon. Bye-bye.